As the sun rises, Yoichi keeps sleeping. Hana tries to wake him up and he starts screaming, but soon calms down when she teasingly tells him he is already late. If he doesn't get up soon, she's going to play a prank on him. He wishes her good morning, addressing her as ma'am, but she reminds him that he calls her mom at home and shares that breakfast is ready. Hana pinches his ear and insists he call her mother or else he will miss out on his meal. Hana is obviously not his mother, and she teasingly tells him to keep the tough persona only for his personality. He gets embarrassed, and she tells him to calm down before coming for breakfast while laughing. Yoichi is staying overnight at someone's house who isn't even his real mother. During the spring of his first year at university, or more precisely, 24 hours ago, everything in his house burned down. The cause appears to be sparks from the refrigerator's compressor falling on some scum left by a resident on the floor. The boy became homeless right after his first month at university. With nowhere to go, he decides to call his university friend for help, admitting that he doesn't have any other friends. The friend tells Yoichi that he will eventually have a girlfriend and doesn't want another guy staying at his place. However, his parents' house is available, though it's a bit far from the university. It's in the same prefecture, and Yoichi can stay there for a while. Itsuki tells him the house is big and that he will contact his family. The boy texts for help and arrives at the address given by Itsuki. The boy notices that the house is far back in the countryside. He never thought the scenery would change so much from his previous apartment, which was just three stations away. In front of the house is the Pacific Ocean, and he worries that if he can't find a place after coming all the way here, it will be a problem. As he approaches the house, he is greeted by a lady with a large chest. She teasingly says, Welcome back, honey, which makes him embarrassed, and he tells her she might be mistaken. She starts laughing, realizing she has piqued his interest. Hana explains she was just trying to act like someone in a guest house. She gets close to him and asks if he wants food, a bath first, or if he wants her. The boy is confused and notices that she is a tanned beauty and seems young. He asks if she works part-time, and she shares that she has heard about him. The boy introduces himself and expresses his gratitude for the accommodation, despite his specific request. Hana welcomes him once again and asks if he has any injuries since his house burned down. The boy has only a burn on his face. Hana mentions that since it's a guest house with many rooms but few customers these days, he can take a room and stay there for a while. Hana tells him she is the landlady, but the boy remembers that his friend's mother was the landlady. He is a bit confused, but she clarifies that she is both the mother and the young landlady, which shocks him. She explains that she doesn't have any children and that his friend's parents are not there, so she is the auntie taking care of Itsuki. The boy gets a call from his mother, and Hana says he is not picking it up. He shows her that it's fine. She shows him the room and tells him he will be staying here from today onwards. She shares a bit of history about the guest house, which opened in 1980, but is still very neat. Hana provides information on using the TV and refrigerator, and asks him to make sure not to make any noise after 9 p.m. The boy questions if all guest houses are like this, while Hana tells him that meals start at 6 p.m., and he can take a bath afterward if he likes. Before leaving, she tells him that he can relax in the empty room. As soon as Hana leaves, his phone starts to ring, and he answers the call. Itsuki asks if he was able to reach the place, and the boy angrily tells him that Itsuki should have informed him beforehand that his house was a guest house. His friend thinks the boy would have rejected the idea if he had said something before, and the boy apologizes for the misunderstanding, promising that he will definitely pay him back someday. Itsuki remembers that the boy likes girls who are kind to otakus. The boy gets angry, questioning why his friend is bringing that up now. Itsuki says it would be great if something like that actually existed, but acknowledges that such things are only fiction. Itsuki reads what the boy wrote in his diary. The boy went to Namaji Predatory School and admires real girls. No girls have ever talked to him, but if there was a kind female, he could close the distance in a friendly way. And if things go well, he could take advantage of her low sense of charity and have her do something naughty to him. Itsuki recalls that his friend only purchases content that satisfies such delusions and saves them on his phone. The boy is shocked and questions how his friend accessed his phone. Itsuki wonders if the boy could actually spend time with such a woman in the guest house and sends him a picture of her. Itsuki gives the boy time to think about his decision, but the boy is still confused as he looks at the picture. He sees the beautiful girl in the picture and calls her cute. 
Yoichi reads the message about the stunning girl being in the guest house and suddenly starts running outside to ask Hana about her. However, when he arrives, he sees her in a strange position, realizing he came at a bad time. Hana asks if he wanted to take a bath first and mentions she is a bit lazy, so she takes her time cleaning, but he can still get in if he doesn't mind. Yoichi says he can take a bath later, but wants to at least help her. He is eager to ask about the girl staying at the guest house, but decides to first express his gratitude for allowing him to stay there. He looks at her and thinks that he was never aware of someone older than him in this way. But since she is his friend's aunt, he feels a bit hesitant. He gazes at the beautiful young lady, and after a while, she shares the spring seafood dishes while offering him liquor. Hana notices he is a bit hesitant and asks if he doesn't want liquor. The boy questions if she drinks in front of other customers as well. Yoichi tells her that she prepared such a delicious meal for him, but he doesn't have much money right now. Since his friend didn't mention it was a guest house, he is unsure if he can pay for the accommodation. She reassures him not to worry, saying she just wants to take care of Itsuki's friend, as he rarely invites anyone. He expresses his gratitude and notices that the sashimi looks as beautiful as jewels. The boy questions if she was the one who cooked such delicious meals, thinking that this food is luxurious for a poor university student. Hana is happy to see that he likes the food. While staring at her, the boy realizes he feels at ease with her. As he gazes at her chest, he thinks she makes his heart flutter. Suddenly, his phone starts ringing. He uses the excuse of eating to avoid answering, but Hana picks up the call instead. She tells Yochi's mother that she is Itsuki's mom. Hana explains that after hearing what happened, she took him in, and the boy couldn't answer the call because he was occupied, so she decided to pick it up for him. They continue chatting while Yochi is left speechless. He doesn't understand what they are talking about, but while Hana happily hands his phone back, he feels that she really connected with his mother. Hana says his mother was worried, but he tells her he just felt awkward, and questions if Hana will now call him out for not getting along with his parents properly. Hana understands, saying that she is not Itsuki's real mother either. Although the university is a bit far, she says he can still live there without going out of his way to live alone. Yoichi shares that his parents are good and loving, but their expectations were too much for him. When he went to high school, he couldn't keep up with his studies and felt guilty for not meeting their expectations. Because of this, he couldn't get accepted into the university of his choice and decided to go to a university in the countryside. However, on the very first day, his house burned down, which makes him laugh. He knows his parents will definitely try to support him after what he went through, but he honestly doesn't want to be a burden on them anymore. Hana suddenly grabs his face and hugs him. She explains that guest houses are originally private houses, they are not as spacious or luxurious as inns, and usually have casual decorations. She always wears casual clothes like an apron, and the bath doesn't have a splash either, so the place is a bit inferior compared to an inn. But that's the nice part. It feels like a safe home. Whenever someone feels anxious at work or traveling, they will be happy to have a place like this to return to. Hana says she is both the landlady and a mother for such people. She wants to be that kind of person, so if he doesn't have a place to stay, he can call this place his home. He can call her his mother, and if he is too embarrassed, he can use her name, Hana, without any honorifics. With his face buried in her chest, he decides to call her Hana instead. She tells him the guest house will warm him in many ways. After they are finished, he thanks her for the meal and says it was delicious. She is happy to see that he is satisfied. Yoichi asks if there is anyone else apart from her. Hana informs him that it's a family business consisting of three people, including herself and her parents. He shows her a picture and shares that he heard she was staying at the guest house. Upon seeing the picture, she becomes speechless and asks where he got the photo. The boy tells her that Itsuki sent it to him and mentioned she was at the guest house. He embarrassingly assures her there's no deep meaning behind why he is asking. He was just curious if such a cute girl really existed. Hearing this, she starts blushing and asks if these are the type of girls he likes. She assumes he likes flashy girls with tongue piercings and that he probably thinks she has a low sense of chastity and will do naughty things to him. Hana lies, saying that the girl in the picture is her niece who is still in high school and only helps out during long vacations, so she isn't here right now. Yoichi believes her and realizes this is why they both look very similar. She mentions that she's not the one he thought, and acknowledges that it must be boring for him to live in the countryside with no young people. However, until he finds his next place to stay, he can take it easy. 
As she is about to leave, Yoichi calls his friend a liar, and assumes the girl in the picture is probably his younger sister or cousin. Hana hides the truth about being the girl with the pierced tongue and slides the door shut. 